Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little get ready with me on this glitter cut crease. I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. This has been my go-to primer lately and I set it with a translucent powder after I blend it out. I'm going to be using the Tarte Pro Palette today for my eyeshadow. I'm starting with the shade Innocent which is a light beige. I'm going to go back and forth in the crease for my transition color and then move on to the shade Edgy which is a darker brown and deepen up that crease with a denser brush. And then the last color I'm going to apply in the crease is Drama which is a burgundy shade and I'm going to deepen it up even further and just keep applying it back and forth until I get the shade that I want. The crease doesn't have to be extremely neat, just make sure you drag it to the outer edge of the eye because you want it to follow winged eyeliner but we're going to clean it up in just a second with the eye primer, that's how we get that clean cut crease. Once I get the depth that I want in the crease, I'm going back to that primer and I'm going to start carving out the crease with a flat lid brush. You just want to go up into your crease in the hollow and then you want to flick it upwards like you would winged eyeliner towards the brow. So you're going like in a little swooping motion. And then after I've gotten the shape that I want, I'm going to set it with a powder. You could use a beige eyeshadow, a translucent powder, whatever you want. You just want to make sure that you set it. Now I'm going in with gel liner. I'm going to wing out my eyeliner and I'm going to try to follow the line of the crease. You can always go back and clean up the crease more if you need to, but I'm using the Kylie Black Gel Liner with an angled liner brush. Try to get as much of this on camera as I could, but I have to get really close to the mirror when I do my eyeliner. I'm also taking a felt tip eyeliner to touch it up and to make it a little bit straighter. Am I the only one who's always like back and forth in the mirror trying to get them even? The struggle is real. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, add some mascara, but before the falsies, I'm going to go in with the glitter. This is the fun part. So I'm taking a silver glitter and I'm using this liquid sugar, which is like a glitter glue, and a little eyeliner brush. And I'm going to follow that crease with the glitter. I'm really taking my time with the glitter, adding a little bit at a time, going in small little steps. I like to start on the outer part of the eye and then work inwards because it gives me a great map for the rest of the eye. And really, this is the easy part. I feel like once you cut out the crease, this part is not difficult at all because if you start with a little bit of glitter at a time, it's really easy to get it really clean and really crisp. For me, this is a lot easier than using a liquid glitter liner. Using a brush was much easier. For lashes, I'm going to use the Samantha Lash from Blinking Butte. These are some of my favorite. They're really fluffy and really wispy. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to prep my skin with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Base. And then I'm going to be extra. I'm going to use the Coconut Nourishing Primer from Marc Jacobs just to further prep the skin. For foundation, I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 5.5 with my Beauty Blender. And then for my under eyes to conceal and highlight, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Correcting Stick in the shade Peach, the light peach color. And then I'm going to go right over it with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I'm going to blend everything out. And after I blend it out, I'm going to bake the concealer so it does not budge. It was so funny, my mom was watching one of my tutorials and she called me and she was like, you had all this powder underneath of your eyes and I didn't know what it was, did you mess up? And I was like, no mom, it's baking, bless her heart. While that bakes, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I like to go underneath of the brow and then right over the brow to get my shape and then I fill it in in light hair-like strokes. And I use the spoolie, the little brush on the end as well as I'm filling it in just to blend everything out.
I'm gonna dust off all of that excess powder and we can move on to contouring. I'm gonna use a Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm taking the cream contour shade to map out my contour. I'm gonna go in the hollows of the cheeks, also on my temples, like the sides of my forehead, on my jawline, and also on the sides of my nose. This has been my favorite cream contour kit lately. I've been using it a lot. And once I map everything out, I just like to take a bigger brush, it's a little bit fluffier, and just buff everything. This is really easy to use. It looks really natural. It doesn't leave any harsh lines. I actually have already pre-filmed an updated cream contour and highlight routine, so be on the lookout for that. That'll be up in a week or so. I'm also gonna use the contour shade in the palette just to sculpt and set that cream bronzer. So I'm just lightly gonna dust it all over where I applied the cream bronzer. So I'm gonna bake right underneath of my contour and also go up towards the nose because I've been getting a little bit of darkness in that area recently. So I'm just setting this with my beauty blender and then I'll dust off the excess and we can move on to blush. For my blush, I'm using NARS Madly. It's a very simple, neutral, peachy blush. And for my highlight, I'm using Tarte Stunner, and I'm gonna wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. I've been using this highlight so much lately, you guys. It is so beautiful. Like, do you see that? It's like a disco ball. It's perfect for holidays. I mean, I'm literally just gonna take a quick little bath in it. I'm just gonna keep applying it, and when you think I'm done, I'm gonna apply some more. I'm also gonna take it on the inner corners of my eyes. Usually what I'll do is whatever cheek highlight I use, I also apply it on the inner corners of the eyes to brighten them up. And I'm also gonna take just a tiny tad on the brow bone. So to finish the eyes, I'm going to apply a black eyeliner to the waterline. This is the YSL one, it's my favorite black pencil. And I'm just going to fill it in and then go back to that dark brown in the Tarte palette with a pencil brush to apply it really close to the lash line and then buff it downwards. I'm using the burgundy shade to buff downwards with a bigger crease brush. I want it really smoky and really dramatic. Then to intensify even more, I'm taking black eyeshadow. It's the black in the Tarte palette with a flat definer brush, applying it really close to the lower lash line. I always get asked how I get it so dark and so smoky, and this is the final trick. It's to set your black eyeliner with a black eyeshadow and it just makes a huge difference. Then to finish the eyes, I just apply some mascara on the lower lashes. Does anyone else get super close to the mirror like this, or is it just me? So I'm gonna finish off with my lip color. I'm taking the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Stripped. I just want a nude base underneath of my gloss. And then the gloss I'm gonna use is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. And I love using a liquid lip under gloss. I just feel like the nude lasts a lot longer. So here's the final look. I know this is a little bit quicker than my normal talk through tutorials, but I was getting ready for an event and all I had time to do was film the get ready with me, but I really wanted to film this glitter cut crease. So I hope you guys loved it. I'll have a new tutorial up later this week. And until next time, I love you and I'll see you in my next video.